Hey guys, welcome back to another Unfiltered Gamer Party Game Review. Today's game up on the tabletop is called Rabble. Rabble is a game for 18 and up, about uh, 25 to uh, 45 minutes for ages, if, oh, sorry, number of players, 4 to 20. You can probably just play as many as you want though. And the game Rabble, it's pretty simple. It's gonna function similar to games like Salad Bowl and or Celebrity, in which you're going to get a certain amount of cards and or different pieces, and you're going to try and act them out. There's three different rounds of the game. One is going to be saying anything other than what the card says. Another one is going to be simply saying one word, and the third one's going to be a little charades type of a deal. And you're going to be trying to score points every round. What's interesting about this one here is it's going to include these rabble cards, which are going to allow uh, players on a specific team to play cards uh, against their teammates uh, to make them do funny things, like continuously fist bump in the air, or the coolest guy in the room after every card uh, perform a dab, if you know what that is. Uh, and so it's going to include stuff like that, as well as all the hip, new, and up-to-date different uh, things going on in the world. Anyway, let's go ahead and show you what the game's got in it, and then we'll talk about it. So here we have the game Rabble and everything included, except for, of course, the box. It has looks like this right now, but I'm sure it will look different when it's fully done. Uh, you're going to get two different types of cards. You're going to get the Rabble cards here, and then these are the basic cards, which you'll be utilizing uh, with different terms and slogans on them, such as Jambalaya or Bologna or Jumbo Shrimp, uh, Squidward, uh, Box Wine, Virgin, Headmaster, all these different things. The game has some unsafe for work type cards in it, but they're not too risque, I would go to say. Um, and of course, it comes with some write your own cards and in the game it's pretty simple and the rules explain it pretty well where all you got to do is uh, give every player 20 of these cards here and uh six of these cards here and then you're going to form teams and players are going to attempt to flip over uh, one player in the team is going to flip over one of the cards and read it out uh, read it out loud to him read it to himself quietly and then act out or talk about the card try and get people to guess this specific uh this specific word here or words if your team can do that you're going to go ahead and set the card down and drop another one and keep going until your timer runs out i think everybody has about 45 seconds per round to guess as many cards as possible and i would suggest being allowed allowing somebody to skip once uh, during each and every round once that happens once that's done the next pl team and next player is going to get to try and do uh, the same thing and it'll go back and forth until somebody completes all of the cards that has been given to them or the, so, uh, one team or pe one person completes all of the cards what, that they've been given to them and in which case the other players are then going to go ahead and look at the additional cards left over that they didn't get a chance to uh, guess and you can score points that way I mean there's pretty much however you want to do it and then the next round is going to involve Involves something interesting and unique. The first one, of course, is by just saying, okay, this is from Squ SpongeBob SquarePants. It is a uh, person who works with a Krusty Krab, has a long nose, right? And so somebody will go, oh, it's Squidward, and be like, yeah, that's it. Uh, a something and cheese sandwich. What else? Okay, bologna. Yeah, but it's another word for that. Bologna, bologna, whatever. Uh, you know, this is, it's not, a, it's a sea creature, so on and so forth, right? You get the idea. Uh, some of them have artwork, some of them don't. I imagine that they're all going to have artwork when it's all done. But uh, that's the basic idea of that round. The next round is be saying one word and hopefully it's going to help you based on the, the last round you had so for instance if i said something like uh we're talking about you know this the, the you know something in cheese sandwich the next time next round i just say i would just say sandwich and then there'd be oh yeah bologna or whatever and uh that would help you so right and then the final round after that has been done is going to be you do charades so maybe you pretend like you're eating a sandwich you're going to hold it in your hand and be like i'm eating this thing you can't say anything though so they're gonna have to try and guess oh he's eating a bologna sandwich maybe uh you do a square for square pants which would in, 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 then make them think okay squidward and of course that's the basic idea of how you play the game but what's interesting as well is these rabble cards here and they're going to have different things on them, like Poison Ivy. Continually uh, use one hand to scratch yourself all over throughout the entire round. This one is, says round three. Uh, do your turn standing on one leg. And it tells you what rounds you can do these on. Uh, continuously act as if you are bouncing on a pogo stick. Uh, spelling bee, give clues by spelling them out. C-L-U-E. Uh, continuously perform jazz hands. So all these different things that can uh, basically entertain as well as mess you up. Uh, while playing this this game. So that is the idea of the game. You score points at the end. Whoever has the most points is the winner. And make sure you have somebody timing it. You can just go ahead and use an app of any kind. And of course, it gives you notes and tips at the end or other variants to the game if you'd like to go ahead and do that. But well, that's the basic idea for the game Rabble. Okay, let's come up and talk about it. Okay, so what do I think about the game Rabble? Well, obviously, it's Salad Bowl and or Celebrity. This is probably a game you've played before, whether you've just gone ahead and wrote things on paper, smooshed them up and put them into a hat and then pulled them out and played over three rounds or two. And they've probably had some variation. This is the same aspect of that, but it's timed with 45 seconds and you can score points and whatnot. So it has it has that basically. Uh, and 
it's interesting because if I look at just the game as itself, it is, it's basically Celebrity, right? And uh, do I like games like Celebrity? Well, if anybody asked me, I'd probably just be like, eh, not really. But it's funny because every time I play games like this, I have a lot of fun, right? I played this live with Callie and Grant and a couple other people, and we had a blast. You can go ahead and check it on our YouTube, uh, not YouTube, our Facebook page if you're interested in seeing that. And uh, as you can see, we just... We just had fun. It's fun to try and guess the cards. It's fun to do the action. So as long as you're having a good time with people around you, it's going to be an enjoyable game. It's a party game, right? And so I can't... I'm not going to give it points for originality, right? But I'm also not going to dock it points for fun because it is a fun game. Any game like this is going to be enjoyable. What's different, of course, is the Ravel cards and what you can do with them. Uh, they're basically going to allow you to obviously do different things during different rounds, uh, whether you're giving clues in a British accent using jazz hands or perhaps every uh, after every card give a member of the op opponent's team a compliment, right? So just things to increase the amount of fun and uh, jokingness in it. Uh, it. It's fun. I enjoy this game. Is it unique? Not, not necessarily. It's pretty simple as far as, uh, you know, the different salad bowl and stuff like that goes. But it includes a little bit of an extra variation. It includes some up-to-date topics. And it's also got a little bit of a not-safe-for-work aspect to it. And it's probably going to be a fair price uh, as opposed to having to make your own every single time. But on the other hand, that can be also part of the fun using those type of games. Uh, overall, you can decide for yourself. A fun game, something I've played before with a little bit of a unique twist to it using these Rabble cards. Overall, it was a fun little experience. I will probably play another one of these games again or this one again during a party or somebody wants me to bring something like this out so overall i've got to say it's a fun game but you'll have to decide for yourself look it up in the description below if rabble is something to be interesting for you to take a look at and as always have a good time